What's up you guys? It's Allison. Welcome back to the Tiny Herd. So I recently did a video on the five pets that I do want to own in the future. So I thought it would also be fun to do a video on pets that I don't want to own. I think these videos are really interesting to watch from other people because it kind of gives you more insight into their personal like pet keeping um, preferences and the animals that they like. So I thought this would be an interesting video to do to let you guys know a little bit more about me. So let's go ahead and get right into these five animals that I do not want to keep as pets. Really quick before we get too far into this video, if you are new to my channel, I make new pet related videos every Friday. So if you do enjoy this video, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss an upload. So let's go ahead and talk about the five animals that I do not want to own. First up, tarantulas. I don't like spiders. I don't really have anything else to say about this one. I don't like spiders. I don't want a tarantula. <laughs> That's all there is. I don't like anything to do with spiders. It would freak me out having that in my house. I don't want to be near them. Um, I do like watching YouTube videos of other people's tarantulas though. I don't know what the deal is with that. Normally I see a spider and I'm just like, Ugh, I don't want to be near it, but I don't know. Watching tarantula videos doesn't bother me, but I do not want one of my own for sure. The next animal is any type of snake. Um, Honestly, not necessarily because I wouldn't want to keep a snake, but my boyfriend does not like snakes. He's with snakes how I am with spiders, so there's no way I would ever have a snake. Um, the only way I would ever have a snake is if, um, I don't know if I've mentioned this on my channel before, but one of my like dreams is to own a small exotics uh, rescue and sanctuary. If I had the opportunity to take in a snake that I could handle at that point, because I don't have any reptile experience at this point, but if at the point I felt comfortable and I had experience and all of that to take in a snake, and it was in a different building than our house, then I could have a snake, but it's not something that I'm actively going to want to purchase or adopt. That sounds weird when it's a snake, but I'm not getting a snake as a pet. I just... I'm not getting a snake as a pet. <laughs> I don't really want one necessarily, and my boyfriend definitely doesn't want one, so no snakes here. The third animal on this list is actually gerbils. Not really because I don't like gerbils or anything, they're just never an animal that I've been like super interested in or really really wanted to have or anything like that. Um, I generally like hamsters more, like I, I would like to have a hamster. I don't really know anything about gerbils, so it's just an animal that I've never really wanted to have. I don't really have any desire to have one. So that is really all that there is with that. I don't dislike gerbils. I think they're cute. I like watching videos of gerbils and videos or gerbil setups, but I don't don't want them for my own. The fourth animal on this list is kind of not just one specific animal, but I don't really have any desire to ever have a bird. Um, I personally think birds as pets are a little bit weird because birds you know have free roam flying outside and i think it's hard to say that they can have enough space if that makes sense i don't know anything about birds so i what do i really know but uh i don't really like birds to be honest um i think they're pretty from afar but i don't really like being around them i don't like chickens i don't like peacocks and that sort of thing like oh i'm not scared of them really i just they like i don't know make me nervous kind of so i guess i am kind of scared of them but uh they just kind of make me nervous and i don't really have any desire to have one i think my mom had one or my parents had one when before they had me and uh i think my mom said they were really messy i don't really know if that's the case they probably didn't know what they were doing with the bird but <laughs> I don't really have any desire to have a bird. I don't have a lot of good reasons, if you could tell, on why I don't want certain animals. I just don't really like them. I might have so many misconceptions in here, so if there are things I'm saying that are not true at all, let me know down below and I will reevaluate my stance on things, but I don't want a tarantula because I don't like spiders. I don't want a snake because my boyfriend doesn't like snakes. Uh, I don't want a bird because I don't really like birds. What else did I say? Oh, I don't really want gerbils just because I don't really want gerbils. I don't have specific reasons why I don't want these animals. I just don't really have any desire to get them. 
The final animal that I have no desire to have is hermit crabs. Uh, I had hermit crabs when I was younger before I knew that all hermit crabs are wild caught and I have no desire to have a wild caught animal as a pet. If you didn't know, hermit crabs in pet stores and you know in Florida, around the beach, at stores, all that different stuff, uh, those are all taken from the wild. They are not really bred in captivity. I don't think there's really anywhere that they breed hermit crabs in captivity. So you're basically just taking a creature from the wild just because you want it as a pet. I don't really condone that, so I don't want hermit crabs. I think they're interesting on other people's channels uh, to learn about. I think they're interesting animals, but I definitely don't want them for myself just because of the origin of them. If a breeding program started, in the United States and they were more readily available, readily available that were bred in captivity, then maybe I would consider it. But overall, I think they're interesting animals and I think they're interesting care wise for people that, you know, got them and didn't know that they were wild caught. There are some, you know, some of the bigger YouTubers have them and t teach about their care, but also say that you really don't want to have hermit crabs <laughs> You don't want to go out and buy hermit crabs because they're wild caught and I think that's really great of them to do to say if you have them here is how to take care of them properly but if you don't have them please do not get them. So I don't want them. I just don't condone taking things from the wild just because we want to keep them as pets. So I don't want hermit crabs. So thank you guys so much for watching. This video really didn't have a point, but I hope you enjoyed it anyways, getting a little bit more insight onto what animals I don't want to have as pets. If you did enjoy this video, I make new videos every Friday, so please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an upload, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.